What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? Um, I am just doing a quick recording, not doing anything fancy with this one. Just gonna, because I said I would do a week up, week two roundup. Um, gonna go from where I uh, left off last time, which was Bretonia. Uh, so the next one being Grand Cathay and then just going to go up to date, which is Vampire Coast. Um, so yeah, Grand Cathay. Uh, the changes are exactly what <laughs> uh, was expected. Uh, the, the same starts from Realms of Chaos. They work great. Fantastic. Um, Skaven. Um, awesome 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 uh, everybody's staying where they should be except two which were the exact ones I wanted moved um, Tretch Craven Tail moved from a uh, Botex Column I think it is in the Granite Hills and Nagaroth uh, over to his, his home Crookback Clan Rictus home uh, Crookback Mountain Awesome, awesome. Now we got Skaven in the Darklands. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Gonna make him a lot cooler. Um, then we got Queek, uh, who has moved closer to Apex, which is good. Is a good. It's a. It's a. It's a, actually a really good sign that um, they may be thinking about. I don't think in Immortal Empires, but eventually. Um, doing a uh, eight peaks rework for those three because right now Queek is not included in the race to Karak eight peaks and the Karak eight peaks hasn't gotten an update since game one that the race mechanic um, so I think it's high time at least I don't think it's gotten updated it has it's been small small tweaks um, but yeah I think that 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 mechanic needs a whole new update. Uh, another thing about Queek's start is, you know, the, the obvious he is right next to Scarbrand. Uh, so, Skaven can do, you know, <laughs> they can do diplomacy with Chaos, but just Scarbrand, is he going to even give a crap about <laughs> uh, diplomacy, you know? he. But the thing is with Scarbrand... There's mountains right between, I think, Queek and him. And I think he, I mean, just just his province, the province he starts in, the Barrier Idols, is like one long strip. So he starts with his back to the mountains, and the province <laughs> is, a, is a strip. It's like, a, <laughs> it's like Scarbrand's a plane. <laughs> so he's just, he's just taken off down the Barrier Idols. <laughs> So, I think he is going to launch west anyways, right at either Altharion or, um, Rapunz. I think he's going to launch straight at one or both of those, uh, two. <laughs> those two, uh, plus Volkmar should buddy up real quick. If they, bu if those three buddy up real quick, Scarbrand, uh, the, the, <laughs> the meme of Scarbrand will be over fairly quickly. But if he's able to, like, kind of just pick them off, Scarbrand, like if a player's playing Scarbrand, they're going to just, like, Altharion, Rapunz, Volkmar, just kind of do a circle around and then around the Thunderdome. <laughs> Basically just ride the coast. Uh, I mean, they set it up so well for Scarbrand to just rampage through the Southlands and then start shooting up, like, the world's edge mountains. And going and breaking off anywhere you want to go, but it, it like it's perfectly set up to just start riding the coast. I'm sure like Legend of Total War is gonna do that. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty. It, yeah, I'm sure he's gonna do something like that. Um, would be my guess at least. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah, Skaven, um, the rest of them, Skrulk, cool, uh, Ike, cool, Throt, um, I think is interesting now, a uh, more interesting start with Kislev. Oh, that's gonna be such a, like, 
Throt, I never could get, really get fully into, because I just, there wasn't anything interesting to fight by him, at least in my eyes. Now with Kislev there, he, now he's got dwarves, Norska, now there's like demons, but most importantly, Kislev, greenskins, uh, just a lot more for him to fight now. It's going to be super sweet. Um, Snickich, oh my god. I did not like his start um, over by uh, Pig Barter. Um, I forget the actual settlement he starts in, but... Oh, this is such a more interesting start position. I can't wait to play Snickich. Um, oh, much cooler. Starts in Jingpao. Settlement. That's pretty cute. Uh, and Greenskins. Grimgore, Ironhide. Uh, yeah, Grimgore. Um, so, so uh, th this one is probably one of the bigger predictions I had um, f from my original video. Um, they did rotate very much in the way I wanted them to. Um, hope they would, for the game at least. Not like just for me. But uh, I also knew at Azag, right, in Troll Country would be too too crowded. So, I'm, and he does, he's loreful enough to start in Red Eye Mountain. He gets um, his mount there, but, but, but Grimgore. Oh, dude, in the Darklands, dude, friggin' Chaos Dwarves made the Black Orcs. Uh, <laughs> the Black Orcs exist because of the Chaos Dwarves. Darklands are the Chaos Dwarves' home. Grimgore starting up there. Super awesome. By Chaos, too. He's known for, like, buddying up with, uh, <laughs> uh, the Order Tide to fight Chaos in the, uh, End Times. Even though, usually, he's just a d destruction, uh, race guy. But, the best, the best move, the best move. Skarsnik moved over to Mount, uh, Gunbad. Um, which, obviously... Really cool. Hold on a sec. Oh, so yeah, Skarsnik. Uh, so I had predicted that he would he would move and take uh, Grimgore's spot. Not necessarily in the Black Crag, but in the Death Pass uh, province. Uh, I thought he, they might move Mount Squighorn over to Death uh, Pass. Or maybe Dead Rock Gap, and he would maybe start there. You know, Squigs, Skarsnik, Fitz, you know, why not? Um, but Mount Gunbad is a really awesome start. Um, I think you get a gold mine there. I, can't, uh, I might be wrong about that. I'm not... M maybe. But anyway, I think it's a great start. Great, great start. Um, puts him a little farther. Um, I mean, it looks like it puts him a little farther. It's hard to tell with this map. It's about the same distance. Actually, he might be a little farther than Belagar. Which I was hoping he would be the closest out of the three. Belagar, Skarsnik, and Queek for the uh, Eight Peaks race. Because he is the warlord of Eight Peaks, but you know. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think my prediction of the trifecta for the mechanic has become a thing, and that that is the the true treasure to take away from that. Um, oh, thank God. Thank God. Uh, lastly, well, well, Grom, uh, exactly where I thought he would be, and that's really, really great, because, you know, his wall went through there. He's close to Althalon. It's fantastic. Um... We're Zag. We're Zag, yeah. Uh, we're Zag. Stayed in Ekron. I think it's a great start. I, I wanted him to move to the Southlands, but that's before the Thunderdome became a thing. Now it's like he's got to stay in Ekron. Um, so for the Ogres, not a whole lot to talk about. Um, Greasus, a little more south of where I thought he'd be. And he de doesn't start in the uh, Great Hall of Greasus either. Uh, he starts in a dwarf settlement, I guess, called Karak Krakatan. Which, um, 
I mean, he's right by the Great Hall. I'm sure he's just, like, going to go take it. Um, and it's right by the Silver Road, which is really nice, lorefully, and thematically. Um, and then there's Scrag, who I don't hate. I've warmed up to a little bit. Um, Scrag, the character, I love. They're like, he's so metal looking. <laughs> With the pull, like the like pulled back flayed teeth, like like lip thing going on, and like the meat claws, and dude, he's he's a uh, he's a ba. But uh, Scrag starts in the uh, the Western Border Princes, which is a uh, you know it's it's a good ogre start. That's what I'll say about it. I thought Golgfag would start in that area. Um, I could see Golgfag going just about anywhere, though. So, I don't know. But, um, another argument for Scrag starting here, besides uh, the like, kind of straight shot up to uh, Gristle Valley is, and it's just a good ogre start, um, is that Galleon's graveyard is the other side of the maw, I guess. Um, so, I just wanted him closer to the maw, because, like, he's the disciples of the maw. That's his, his race. Or, not his race, his um, faction name. Um, so, yeah. I think that would be cute. <clears throat> for the um, Uber Chad race, the Beastmen. Uh, oh, dude. Beastmen are my favorite race. <laughs> and since Warhammer 1, I think, I, you know, I can speak for a lot of people that we've wanted uh, <laughs> Kazrak to move. Uh, to Kazrak and uh, Borger just to switch places. Switch the places. Um, gets Morgur closer to Athelorn, gets Kazrak in the Drakbald. Perfect. Because, like, in game one, they wanted you to, like, work towards the ultimate enemy. But, ugh, we, we, we know better now, right? Like, give us the rival first. Or, not quite first, but like in the first 20 turns, you can start fighting your rival. But, uh, yeah, don't make the rival end game. I mean, maybe for like a final battle, quest battle or something, but. Uh, Malagor did not move over to the uh, Blasted Wastes in the Darkland, which I think is. Unfortunate. Um, that would have gotten him closer to shooting over to Talabeckland in the Great Forest, where he is lorefully. I don't think it, that would work in the game for him to start there. But if you could uh, have Beastmen in the Blasted in the Darklands, um, would be, I think, really cool. And the, again, closer to Talabeckland. So, like, you do a co op campaign where Kazrik starts, uh, you know, take basically you just focus, focus on taking out the Empire first in the co-op campaign. Kazrak from the west, Malagor from the east, and you start just beating up the Empire <laughs> until they're done. I think that would be super... That, that would be probably... That would be my favorite Beastmen uh, co-op campaign to do, I think. That being said, Malagor is not there. <laughs> I wish he was. That would have been cool. Uh, but... Yeah. You know. I just... Usharan. So there's... I really want a Strigoi legendary lord at some point. And there's three major ones that could work. Uh, Gashnag's the only one that's technically alive out of the three. Uh, but they could all work nonetheless. Uh... First, uh, being Vorag ba Bloody Tooth, and uh, but but Emric starts at his start, so it's unlikely. Then Usharan, um, in the city of Morcane, which is 
in the Marshes of Madness, where Malagor is. Or there's Gashnag, who could start in the um, Eastern Border Prince area. I guess, or just like the Northern. He could start anywhere in the Border Princes, but Scrag's in the Western. So, um, yeah. So either they're going to have to move Malagor, or they're going to have to bring in Gashnak, I guess, out of those three. Because he's the only one that's alive in the timeline, and it's the only... That, <laughs> that's the only space left, if unless they are going to move Malagor or Emmerich at some point. Which, I think they're going to try to not move them if they can. But, like, we have we know they're going to move Alithanar at some point because there was enough community, like, backlash for that start. Um, so they're like, oh, they listened to that, got that feedback. We're like, all right, we'll, we'll move them, but we just can't. We don't know if we can do that before the release of uh, Mortal Empires, which is fine. Just to know that it will change is uh, heartening. Um, Torox, great. I, I think I didn't necessarily see the need for him to move away from Nagaroth. There are beastmen up there, lorefully, and uh, I think for like uh, people to fight the dark elves, having mostly chaos characters makes a lot of sense. So you got, you know, Sigvald up there, maybe um, Falkia or uh, Arbal. Um, and then, and then you got uh, from the from the more of the south area, you got Torox. But then, oh, another thing on Mor Morgur. So he's not like right on top of Athalorn, right? But it gives him enough time to like warm up. He can, <laughs> basically he can warm up on um, Astalia. And then the Fey Enchantress before he moves over to Athelorn, get all beefed up, ready to go, you know. Rocky scene, running up the steps, dude. Just like that, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Tomb Kings, Wood Elves, nobody moved. Uh, which I'm fine with. I That's what I had to hope for. Um, I like all their start positions and. Uh, Mortal Empires. Totally fine with it. Um, I think for both races, we could see one... I, I think, again, I think for all races, we should get one more Lord. For all races, at least. Uh, obviously, a, <laughs> there's a couple races that need more than one Lord. But for a, a race like Tomb Kings or Wood Elves, I think... Uh, or Vampire Coast, or Beastmen... Um, without going through all of them, those races right there, I think, could do with one more lord. Um, but uh, obviously, a, ra a faction or race like Norska, though, I'd want at least two more lords. I think every race should get at least four, except for you know, <laughs> yeah, the demon prince formerly known as Yuri's uh, race. He hogs to himself. <laughs> um, but yeah um, what else think a nice co-op Orion Durthu campaign could be wicked awesome with their teleporting mechanic it does not it really doesn't matter where they start as long as they don't start in the same exact province it's really I think there too, should be two legendary lords in Athelorn I think maybe in the future like add an extra province or two, like maybe one more in the west and one more in the east between the two, with the Oak of Ages just connected to all of them, you know, expand Athelorn a little bit in the future. I think that would be nice, um, but that doesn't change the fact I'm fine with their starts as is. Um, Sisters Drake are good. I think we get um, like an Aeroloth or a, I forget his name, w Wicketel. Wish it tell the wild or something. Um, there's also another guy that rides an eagle, like uh, Thalendor, something like that. Um, he's pretty cool. So I can't remember his name. Uh, go, going back to Tomb Kings real quick, though. Um, 
Kotep, I think he's fine. Fighting Dark Elves. Searching for lost artifacts or something. Lost tombs. Uh, Arkin... I mean, I just don't know how they would have moved him closer to Nagash Star. It would have been cool, like, unless they moved him into the Darklands. I think a Tomb King in the Darklands could work really well. Uh, maybe, like, a print... Like, if we got another character, we could get, like, Prince Apophis. Um... As a, as a Tomb King. Legendary Lord. He's kind of like a more of a legendary hero, but he's just a really cool character that I'd like to see see come. Um, just a thought. But yeah, the Vampire Coast. Um, as I thought, Luther, uh, Luther Harkin, Count Noculus, or Arnas Saltspite all sit in the same spot. Solastra was the one we kind of the whole community was thinking would move, right? We all thought that. Uh, and I think a lot of people, including myself, thought she may move to the southeast. So that would just give some lord that isn't in the great ocean. Which, again, I like those other three where they are. Very loreful, very, very thematic. They're different enough from each other. It was just Solastra that was really her star position needed to move. Um, move, it, it, which, but it kind of, you know, just did like a sidestep move. L like, literally, literally just moved like a two, two provinces up. Well, probably more like three or four. But still, um, I guess that her lore is all about like Sink and Um, I don't know. Yeah, I just think this is a <laughs> this, but this leaves space for a southeastern character for the Vampire Coast. Um, my top, like the tops, top possible Vampire Coast legendary, uh, like characters, if not lords, uh, are a shark man, like a like a Sons of uh, Stromfell type uh, character that they would they could just make up like they did Solastra which would be really cool and would help add fish people into the game like shark the sharkman mod um, on the workshop is one of the most popular mods for the vampire coast and people talk about fish, pe fish people in the game all the time on forums and videos and I, I think that would be a huge hit if they added a shark man character um especially if it <laughs> if it wound up like that that character wound up like at the lost isles of elethys uh which would be right off the south like eastern shore of koresh um if they added in those islands and like the islands of the pond and stuff which i think they will i think the pond will come as a like sub race pseudo it will like it'll be part of the cafe race but it'll but it'll have its own units like mist walkers i think that mist walkers mechanic could turn a lot of different like factions into sub races like i think that needs to be utilized more um But yeah, Sons of Stromfell's character, but Shark Man, like, uh, he could, again, start in the Lost City of Elethys. He would be, basically, uh, he would play kind of like Nakai. That's how I always see it. Um, or, or, um, Torox. Like, that kind of sized, uh, monstrous, uh, lord. And, uh, oh, and he would have the, the lore of the deeps, too. So, just casting, you know, water spells all over the place, but moving around like, you know, swinging an anchor and just clear, clearing out mobs of in infantry. Another big thing with the Sharkman character, <laughs> I'm going to go off on this little rant about it. Um, again, it could bring in uh, like five fishmen type uh, units and not only would this work for the Sharkman character, but it would work for uh, RNS Assault Spite, who is really not even a vampire character. She's 
she's not a vampire. She's like the daughter of Manon. Um, so I would like stuff more Manon focused, like, you know, her pirates, um, like Sartosa militia, like, so more variants of Sartosa militia, um, with the fish people as well. So like sharkmen or, you know, mostly just sharkmen, but there are going to be different variants of sharkmen, um, or even like, <laughs> like just other types of fish people, like a, like a lamprey, like the, the fish with the lamp on its head. Um, uh, but yeah, other honorable mentions, um, the Jade Vampirate Lady. Uh, well, so there's some lore around Jade Vampires and a possible. I, I think there's like a there's a female Jade Vampire uh, character. I don't know if she's a named character, but um, yeah, there's been I've seen some talk about like her becoming a vampire um, over in Cathay, which I think that would be cool. I still, I still think the Fishman and the Sons of Strom, Stromfell character would be cooler. Where, you know, but you know, either or. Um, and then the other one is Van Geist. But Van, the thing about Van Geist, I would like to see him in the game. But I see him uh, more as a pseudo legendary lord. So basically, how I want to see Noctilus and the Dreadfleet uh, reworked is that. Um, that, um, panel of, uh, like those pseudo-legendary lords, uh, the adm admirals in the, uh, Vampire Coast Tech Tree, I would like to see that change for the Dreadfleet so that they're the, the Dreadfleet characters, uh, I don't remember all their names off the top of my head, but Van Geist, um, there's like a Chaos Dwarf one, there's a Skaven one, um, one's like an amp Empire guy. Yeah. But yeah, besides Manfred, I added in all the rest of the lords that aren't um, announced. The um, Dark Elves, the uh, Warriors of Chaos, and the Vampire Counts. So obviously I just talked about Manfred. Um, I still think... Uh, Caravan of Blue Roses, uh, Helm and Gorse is going to land in the haunted forest so they said he went east to be closer to Nagashazar the haunted forest like you could literally just sail right over to Nagashazar but if you wanted to take you know take the coast it's just a couple couple provinces over and haunted forest the whole flayed rock knoblar country pig bar area I just think that whole area works well for uh for Hellman I think the Haunted Forest just, I mean, speaks for itself why it would be good for him. Uh, obviously got the Von Karsteins in Sylvania. Obviously got Kemlar in the uh, Northern Grey Mountains. Uh, uh, Marathi, uh, Malekith, Hellebron all in their spots. Um, definitely, I think, my predictions... As far as the Dark Elves in general are going to stick. Uh, Rakarth in the northwestern side in Illustria. In that Dark Elf um, uh, fortress that's along the islands there. Um, Malice. Ooh, I put him between the eastern colonies and the Demonium Hills. Because I think he's going to start in one. I would rather him start in the Chaos Waste and leave the eastern colonies open for like a Sea Lord Aislinn at some point. Um, and then I stuck Rakarth over. Um, I just put him at this time on the like the in the ocean. You see, he's, I think like being on Nanchang Basin, tactically speaking, would be crazy because you just you could move your black arc anywhere along the rivers. You just have you just have a good stranglehold over uh, Cathay if you started in Nanchang Basin. But it just says that he's going to be pillaging the shores, so he could wind up on anywhere those rivers are touching, basically, or the Jade Sea is touching. Um, 
but yeah, so the Dwarves released today. Um, for the Dwarves, really liking all the changes. Really loving them. Uh, Grom Brindle's exactly where I thought he would be. Um, right in the Iron Coast uh, Mountain region. Um, I mean, I originally thought it was Obsidian Peaks, but after seeing Torox there, I was like, okay, there's one spot left in Nagaroth that he can work in, and it's exactly where he is. Um, and then all the same stuff. We got Thorgrim and, uh, you know, Ungrum and Belagar in their spots, their rightful spots, and uh, then Thoric down in the southern World's Edge Mountains, which is exactly where I want him to be, but, you know, now he's smack dab in the middle of the, the Thunderdome, so... You know, I, I think it works fine, though. Um, yeah, and speaking of the Thunderdome, I still think Manfred's going to land down here. It's it, I just don't think there's going to... They're going to add a lot of characters in the upcoming DLC and FLC to the Southlands. Like, I think they're just sticking everything there. <laughs> Put, putting all the their cards into the Southland and, like probably not going to do with much with the Southlands after that. Though, if you look closely at the Great Desert of Araby, for some reason there aren't any roads or um, region borders drawn in, which for every other province there is, except for the Eastern Colonies, and then obviously um, in Koresh. And that's it. So I wonder, I wonder why that is. Why are the re regions and roads not drawn into the Great Desert of Araby? Very questionable. Like, is that not going to be traversable? I feel like it's got to be. Um, hard to say. But yeah, Manfred probably going to be in the shifting stands. Stand, shifting sand still. Uh, I think that'll him and Volkmar are going to duke it out right in the beginning, basically. Like. Uh, Manfred will start all the way eastward in the Shifting Sands. And uh, Volkmar will start in, like, the northern land of the Dervishes. And then they'll just, like, they'll converge on the rest of their province, which will end them both right next to each other. And then they converge on each other. Um, and since they're both going for the Books of Nagash, they're... It, it might not make sense to put them right next to each other because they, their mechanic is working off each other. In which case, uh, Manfred could move over to the Devil's Backbone, which is currently doesn't have a legendary lord in it, but literally the f every single province, it's, it's neighboring five provinces, and each one of them has a legendary lord. So, Devil's Backbone, in Shifting Sands, it still looks kind of, you know, cramped, but Devil's Backbone, you'd be literally surrounded by playable care five different playable characters so um yeah it might be too much <laughs> but yeah then we got warriors of chaos kolek he's gonna start either in the ancient giant lands or the stone sky foothills maybe gash Kadrak. right up in that area somewhere is where he's starting uh, the northern Chaos Waste province that's isolated in the that area definitely definitely feel like Arcan's gonna start there. Uh, northwestern Wastes is where Sigvald's starting. We know that, so I think Shardlands, uh, somewhere by the Pal Palace of Princes, is a a likely start. Yeah, and upon further review, a, c a couple other little notes. Um, the Southern World's Edge Mountains, which is right above the Broken Teeth, where Nagashazar is, that's suspiciously empty. Like, maybe um, maybe we might see Manfred or Gorse start there. Uh, I, think, I feel like it's very close to Nagashazar, which I don't like, but... Uh, Again, I'd like to see them in the starts I was talking about, but that's kind of suspicious. Um, I could see a total left ball, like, <laughs> they're, they're out of left field uh, call, and uh, Manfred going over to the Copper Desert, 
in Lustria, where uh, Kalita starts in Vortex. Like the, like the Dusk Gate settlement is there. Do I think that's crazy? Yeah. I don't want to see Manfred and Lustria, but there is the first book in the Gash there. And then there's like uh, two books in the Gash. Well, one's right at a Hexawaddle, one's at um, Marathi, and then one's above Katep uh, near the Black Flood, I think. So I could see them putting Manfred in the Copper Desert so he like kind of shoots up the, the western side of the map to try to just collect those books. And then there's two books of Nagash in Othlon. So, like, as far as the Nagash, him trying to collect the books in Nagash, him starting in Copper Desert actually makes a lot of sense. Do I want to play Manfred in Lustria? No. I kind of want to play him in Nekara. Nekara, but... Uh, just from that mechanic point of view, I could see it happening. Uh, another thing is Marathi. I don't really think she should move, but I could see them pulling a sneaky move and starting her somewhere along the western coast of Lustria. Um, I mean, she does a lot of a lot of nefarious uh, subterfuge in Althuan and lore. So, I mean, I could see it. Ha and having a Dark Elf star in Othlon would be really interesting, too. I mean, she's practically neighboring it anyways. I don't really think it's necessary to just nudge her over, but they kind of just nudged up uh, Solastra, so. Well, anyways, that's all I got for now. Uh, we still have the Dark Elves, Vampire Counts, and the Warriors of Chaos. Uh, location reveals um, obviously I put where they're probably gonna be <laughs> in this picture this is I, I I will be very surprised um, if basically any of where I where I put the rest of them are wrong Manfred is the most elusive one otherwise I think they're all pretty spot-on um, anyways uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, have a good day.